Hello friends, welcome again. This is session 7 in the free SQL playlist. And in the last session, we encountered an issue where this query which you see on the screen was failing. Right? This query was failing and we said we will cover the reason in the next session. And that's why I have created this session for you so that you can understand the internals that what exactly is going on. Now select distinct source of joining from students order by enrollment date DESC. That means we are doing distinct. So both distinct and order by are in the same place or in the same query. Why won't this work? Let us see. Let me take it from the very basics of it. Let's say I write a query select source of joining from students. Let me name this in small source of joining. Let me copy this. Okay. Select source of joining from students. If I run this query, how exactly this work? What will happen first? So always remember that from is executed first. So the order of execution is order of execution of the above query is first we will or first from will execute and then select will execute. That means when we say from table that means it's like loading the table kind of so think like loading the table loading the table like select star from students we get that the complete table is loaded after that when we are doing select this one we are doing a projection projection means what all columns we want to show whether we want to show all columns or one column or two columns what are those so now when we say select source of joining, so we are projecting only one column which is source of joining. I hope this is clear. So this is how this query works. Now what if I add let's say something like select source of joining comma, uh, let's say enrollment date, enrollment date, okay, from students, then how exactly this order of execution would be? It would be almost the same. That means first it will load the table, right, students, and then next it will do a projection on these two columns. So projecting these two. Fair enough. Now, what if I use order by clause? I use a order by clause. Okay. I say select source of joining comma enrollment date from students order by and then I give some sorting field whatever. Let's say enrollment date. Now in this case what will be the order of execution? We have added order by also. So let me just take this one. Right. So of course the very first thing that happens is from and then select. You can see here. So selecting will be again these two and then order by will be the last thing here. Order by. Now this will order by based on enrollment date. So based on enrollment date, based on enrollment date, it will order by. So basically when we are saying loading the table, it's like select star from students. Now you have lot of fields or columns. When we do a projection, 
we get a limited columns only. That means we discard all the other columns and say that we just want these two. So select from students, right? And then now in this step two, the data is still unordered. That's why in the third step, it will be ordered based on enrollment date. So it will be, I mean, the order by. So select this one, order by enrollment date. I hope this is fine. And if I run this query, for example, this one, this will work. Let me just show that. I am in my ID. So we can see that this is working. Now, interesting thing is that what happens when we slightly tweak this query, let's say, I do not want this enrollment date here, but I still want ordering on enrollment date. What will happen? Now, what you might think is based on the previous approach I have showcased, let me just copy this and then I will tweak this slightly. So what should be the order of execution for the query I am showing? It would be first of all from that means loading the table select star from students fine then projecting of columns which column are we projecting source of joining this is what you might feel at this moment right and then order by order by is based on enrollment date and you might feel oh enrollment date is not there because right now it is something like this like this now if we have to do a order by on this then how do we do it because that column we have discarded only this is what you might feel that is why system is intelligent here and what it do even though we have not said that we want enrollment date in select but system knows that later we are doing order by and that is why I should still have this enrollment date so that order by can be done. We should not discard this field. That is why the system will still project enrollment date here. Even though you have not explicitly requested, but this has a dependency later on. That is why enrollment date is not discarded and still keeps as part of projection because system is intelligent. Right? So select source of joining comma enrollment date from students even though we have not requested. Now later order by will work based on enrollment date right. So it will order it after that what it will do is since we have not asked for enrollment date it will discard it later. It won't show this. It will sort it based on enrollment date but while showing us the output it won't show because we have not requested. Why system still has to keep it in the step 2 so that order by can be performed later. I hope this is clear. Now I will run this query and show that this will work. You can see this select source of joining from students order by enrollment date even though enrollment date is not here we are still able to do order by i hope this is clear okay let's continue now what happens if i add distinct here what will happen if i add distinct here let's see select distinct source of joining from students order by enrollment date okay so what will happen in this case first of all i will try to run this and show you this won't work now the whole point comes that why is this not working let's see 
Now, what will be the source of execution? Let me copy the previous one and I will modify that accordingly. Okay. The very first thing will be from the table will be loaded. Students table is loaded. Okay. Second thing that will happen is select. And then right now we are showing, saying source of joining is the only thing that we want to select. But system knows that we want to order by enrollment date. So system will still keep enrollment date also as part of projection or the select. So projecting source of joining, which we have already mentioned, enrollment date is given by system. And this will be something like this. Now after select, distinct comes in the list. So the order of execution is from select, distinct and order by. Now when we do a distinct, what will happen? It will be something like select, distinct, source of joining, comma enrollment date from students. Now problem comes here. Earlier what actually we want to do a distinct on is only on source of joining. But now what just because system has to take one more column enrollment date in the end distinct will happen on both the columns, which is logically wrong. I mean, if I run this query, this will work, but logically it's not the output that we are looking at. I will show you that what we wanted is we wanted select distinct let me copy this ideally we wanted this but now due to how the situation was the query that is fired is this let me show you the output of this first okay how many rows we are getting five rows now what if i run this second one You can see we are getting six rows. That means the results are not the same. Results have changed because now distinct is happening on a combination of these two things rather than one. So logically what we were trying to achieve has gone wrong, right? So in the end, if we see a output and if we see a wrong output, is that right? No, rather than that system should throw an error saying this won't work. And that is what SQL is doing. So the semantics have gone so wrong that this won't work that way and that is why sql gives an error actually so i i hope you understood what is the i mean uh, source of error here why system gives an error because logically things have gone wrong so with this probably you will understand that why this query does not work right why this query does not work because in the end, if system would have given us some answer, it would be the wrong answer, not the correct one. And that's why rather than showing wrong answer, it says that no, this is not correct. You have to recreate the query. So with this, probably we understood that like the internals of it, the order of execution from select, distinct and order by. And only thing or the whole point is in select. That means the columns that we are saying are always projected. Apart from that, if we are doing order by, which is not projected by us, system will project it so that we cannot discard that column because it's used later for the ordering or sorting. Right. So I hope this should be clear. And with this, we can wind up the session. I hope you liked it. Thanks a lot.